this guitar lesson, you'll learn how to play the old traditional song called Jimmy Brown, the Newsboy. And we're going to go over two different variations of the instrumental for this song. So you'll have a couple of options there as far as the instrumentals go. Then after that, we'll go over the regular rhythm guitar part for those of y'all that want to sing the song and play it at the same time. So overall, really great lesson. I think this song's got a very catchy melody and a really satisfying melody to learn on guitar. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to start out taking a look at the first variation of the instrumental for Jimmy Brown, the Newsboy. So here's the first line of the tablature for instrumental number one. And by the way, we've got our capo on the second fret. And we're going to be playing this out of the C position. So basically, we'll be using key of C chords with the capo on the second fret. So anyways, let me play this line that you see right here on the screen, get a good feel for it. And then I'll break a few things down for you here in a minute. And again. So you can see that for measures one, two, and three, we're holding down the C major chord shape. For all three of those measures, you can see we got the chord name written in right above each measure. So that's really what's going on for measures one through three. We got the C major chord shape, holding that down the whole time, but we're gonna lift up the left middle finger here and there to do little melody line walks around the C major chord shape. Walk down at the end of measure three. Walk down. Right there, you're actually going to lift up your left ring finger and move it to the fourth string right there on that note, the third fret in relation to the capo. So that's the only time we're going to stray away from this C chord shape as far as the left ring finger goes, but uh, most of the work's being done with the left middle. So listen one more time, measures one through three. Pause if you want to work on that with the tablature. Then when you're ready, we'll add on measure four. And you see we're in measure four, we're switching to the G major chord. That's measure four. And one important thing for measure four, you're not gonna hold down the entire G major chord shape. All you need to do is put your pinky down on the first string, third fret in relation to that capo. That brings in enough of the G chord. So, fourth measure. And that pull off was with the left middle finger. And you're still holding down the pinky there. Pick, strum, 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 pull off. So let's listen one more time to measures one through four, and then we'll move on to the next line. One, two, three, 
four. And now we're going to go into measures 5 through 10. It sounds like this. <laughs> <laughs> 